Hello, I'm Dr. Mercola's sister, Janet, and chief editor of the newsletter. I've witnessed firsthand my brother's love for fermented vegetables. He believes so strongly that everyone should consume fermented vegetables each day that he's hired Julie to make every batch from scratch and have them available at lunch for all the staff here at Mercola.com. Many people enjoy the taste of fermented vegetables, which have a pleasant, salty, tart flavor and a similar consistency to coleslaw. Just a quarter to a half cup of fermented vegetables eaten with one to three meals per day can benefit your health. The only issue you need to be mindful of is if you've never eaten fermented foods and are new to them, try introducing them gradually, beginning with as little as one teaspoonful with a meal. Observe your reactions for a day and then increase your serving size, slowly as tolerated. Don't feel overwhelmed by the thought of making your own fermented vegetables at home. It's actually not complicated or time consuming. Julie's here to show you just how quick and easy it is to make your own fermented vegetables at home. Thank you, Janet. Fermented vegetables offer many health benefits, but one of the greatest is they can provide you with vitamin K2 and fermented vegetables are one of the few really good sources of K2. Some vegetables I like to shred and use in this recipe include cabbage. I like to use cabbage as the starter vegetable. Cabbage contains plenty of natural beneficial bacteria. Carrots, during the fermentation process, the bacteria digest the natural carrot sugars into lactic acid, so their sugar content isn't a concern. Celery, celery is used for the juice, but you can add shredded celery as well. Golden beets, sweet potatoes, Granny Smith apples to add flavor, garlic, ginger, herbs like cilantro, rosemary, and parsley, etc. Peppers, Dr. Mercola especially likes hot habanero peppers. At first, you might be concerned that you won't do everything correctly, or you might introduce mold or something else unhealthy into the mix, but you'll see that really won't be an issue at all. Once you've made fermented vegetables a couple of times, you'll find how safe, fun, and easy the process really is, whether you are making them for yourself or your entire family. You can make fermented vegetables without a starter culture, but we use Dr. Mercola's kinetic culture to maximize the vitamin K2 content of the vegetables. We've experimented with different vegetables and cultures, and we've measured the ideal amount of vitamin K2 each version produces. We've been able to increase the amount of vitamin K2 as much as 10 times the original level in our own recipe. By making fermented vegetables yourself, you have complete control over the vegetables you taste. And you can use the following recipe or you can just use it as a guide. Remember, you can vary spices that are stronger in taste like garlic and ginger to impact the overall flavor of your mix. Keep in mind, you may increase or decrease the measurements in the recipe accordingly depending upon the amount of fermented veggies you wish to produce. First, I prepare the celery juice. Clean one bunch of celery, putting it through the juicer to extract the juice. Use a quarter teaspoon kinetic culture for every 32 ounces of vegetables. This recipe produces between six and eight quarts or mason jars. Add the starter culture to the celery juice and stir well. Gather the vegetables you want to use and scrub them clean. Cut them into small enough pieces to add to your shredder. Save some cabbage leaves for later. If using hot peppers, be sure to use a plastic or rubber glove to avoid burning your fingers. Shred the vegetables. I'm using a commercial grade shredder, but you can use a home food processor. You will need two medium heads of cabbage, three and a quarter pounds of carrots, a third of a red bell pepper, half of a large sweet potato, half a bunch of golden beets, half of a Granny Smith apple, one bunch of parsley, half a bunch of cilantro, four inches of ginger root, one head of garlic. Mix your ingredients evenly in your bowl. Add the celery juice with the probiotic and mix well. It's important to have the culture distributed throughout all the vegetables. Fill your cleaned jars. 
I use a 32 ounce mason jar. Pack the shredded vegetables as tightly as you can using a masher to eliminate air pockets. But be sure to leave room a half inch or so at the top for your cabbage leaf cover. Arrange a cabbage leaf over the top of the vegetables, tucking the edges down inside the jar. Screw on the lid, but not too tightly. Carbon dioxide is produced during fermentation, so you want to be able to allow air to escape as the vegetables ferment. Find a location where the temperature will be stable. I use a cooler with a lid. Keep the lid closed loosely for about seven days, but be careful not to close the lid too tightly or the glass might break. When done, store in the refrigerator to slow down the fermentation process. They should keep for about three months. Do not freeze your fermented vegetables. The last step, grab a spoon, put some on your plate, and enjoy. And as we say at Mercola, take control of your health.